so I am on my way to go run some errands. Today is my birthday. Excuse the darkness. Let's go, babes. I'm walking downstairs. Turn around. Turn around. Scoot down. Okay, excuse that. I was walking downstairs with my son, and it's a little dark right there. But I am, yes, it's my birthday. I'm 29 years old and really don't have too much planned. Don't really. I thought we were going to go out town for my birthday, but my husband had to work. So, um, and um, I really don't. I didn't have anything too planned, so I can't be too mad that his job called him in. So it's fine. Um, we have all weekend to spend together, so don't do that. So me and our son are about to go out and run some errands and do some things. Let me show you his outfit. I don't like to match when I dress. Um, as you can see, I have on this top some jeans and i'm gonna have on some leopard shoes thank you baby chiron show everybody your outfit excuse the mess jameer hey babes so he has on stop ow don't hit lord so he has on this cute little these pants have a cars on them and then he has a shirt from i think we got that from carter's that has a shirt on it and then his converse so and like I said please ooh, Lord like I said please excuse please excuse my mess so we're about to head out right now um oh let me show you what my husband I'm really sweet usually stop baby no usually at midnight he will run out really Lord have mercy. What is up with my son sometimes? So, um, usually the night of my birthday, he goes out to the store and gets me a card, which is really sweet. So, he got me this card, um, for my birthday. And then, where are they at? I had to hide them from the baby. Like I said, please excuse my messy kitchen. Um, he bought some cupcakes. Which, like I said, the little things matter to me the most because he had to go to work 7 o'clock this morning. He woke up at like 11-ish, probably midnight, went out to the store and got me some stuff. So, And then I need to come back and start doing that dresser. So yeah, we're going to go out and run a couple of errands and then come back and clean. And that'll be our day until he gets home and then we'll probably go do something with him. So, yeah. Take number four. I'm sorry, I think we uh-huh. I think we really need to go out and get that camera so I can see myself because it was pointing too high. It wasn't pointing at me. And then one of them I didn't pay attention but it zoomed out. Oh, I need to get gas. And from it zooming out, all you saw was my forehead. So um really need to go and look at getting that camera but so yeah that means you missed everything I said so we are actually going well we just left from the dollar store um, I had to go get some snacks and stuff um, it was really packed in there so I didn't get everything I wanted and I usually do my grocery list and I ran at the house and didn't even think to do my grocery list so I don't think I'm gonna get too many grocery items but I did want to go to Sephora and get my birthday gift. I wanted to go to Starbucks and get something for me and the babes. Or I might wait till my husband gets off. But he really doesn't drink Starbucks, so we'll see. And then I wanted to go to this fabric store. I saw a blanket that I wanted. I have no problem with not matching, but my husband likes everything to match. So uh, we went there and I saw a blanket that I really really liked and I think I'm gonna go back and get it his thing is he likes the matching pillows and everything like that but I'm okay with it not matching so we'll see I'll probably go and get it um, I'm changing our bedroom colors to match our bathroom and our bathroom is yellow and gray 
So I saw a blanket that I really, really like. So I think I'm gonna go there and get that. And then what else do I have to do today? Oh, I'm gonna go buy Lowe's. Last week I told you that I bought the legs and these are actually the legs for the cabinet that I wanna convert into a toy chest, but they have these screws parts. And since the cabinet has a thin back, if you screw it in, it'll be peeking out and I don't want him to see that and play with that or get hurt. And if you stick it into the corner, you'll have all of this hanging over. So I think I'm gonna take, well, I am gonna take these back and um, see what else they have and try Walmart and a couple other places to see if we can find some legs. And then hopefully by that time, it will be his nap time or a little bit past his nap time and then we can get home and um, take his nap and I can clean while he's napping. By that time, my husband should be home. I never know how to get to Walmart. I'm sorry, I'm using my name tag. Um, I never know how to get to Walmart from this way, but I think we're just gonna go this way. And then what else? Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. When my husband gets off later on today, um, I thought maybe we can go downtown. It's a really nice day. It's, it's 82, well it was 77 when I filmed this the other time. But now it's 82 degrees. So it's really good weather. Might pack his swimsuit and take him down to the pineapple. We have the Charleston Pineapple downtown where um, water comes out of it and people play in it and stuff. And it's such a really nice day. I think we might do that with the baby and then have a lunch down there. Um, I had a friend that was cooking me dinner tonight but she had a family emergency so we're gonna do it tomorrow night so um yeah we today's a free day so probably go ahead and do some of that actually I should stop by Home Depot and see what kind of legs they have so yeah my day is just filled with errands 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 more errands before my husband gets home try to get the house straightened up a little bit before he comes home I hate when he comes home to a junky house So, try to do that, but yeah, that's what my day right now consists of. That didn't work out. Went to Home Depot and, um, <laughs> excuse me, they have the same legs that Lowe's had, so I didn't get anything. I'm gonna try Walmart later on, but it is. I'm so sorry. It is Chiron's nap time, and I'm starving. So since we're not too far from home, I'm just going to go home and put him down for his nap. Um, my husband did come while I was out, so I had to go back and um, let him in since he left his key. And I'm going to go eat, probably take a nap, try to straighten up a little bit. And by the time that they both wake up, I guess we can go back out and finish our errands. There's a lot going on. I do see that there's a farmer's market in my area that I did not know about. Just moved in this area in, in August. So there's a farmer's market. Missed it for today, but I'm definitely going to try to go there next weekend. And then we have an earth fair opening up in our area. And they have like a whole activities and a lot of stuff out there for the kids. So once they wake up, I'm going to try to come back out here and see if it's still going on. I see they're doing pa uh, face painting and balloons and stuff like that. And that's just something for Chiron to do. And then I guess we will head out to downtown market. So, yeah, I'm exhausted. I got to stop going out before I eat because I have no energy. Like, I'm starting to get a headache. I'm so hungry. I got up. I didn't even have my coffee or tea. I just got up and got dressed and got out the house. So, we're heading back home now. Um, get the baby down for a nap. And then we'll try this again later. So, yeah. So, now I am back home. And I just put the baby down. My husband's upstairs sleeping. And I'm enjoying one of my birthday cupcakes. And then I'm going to clean this mess. My kitchen is a hot mess. You wouldn't think that three people and a dog can make so much mess. But we really can. And it's also because um, it's hard for me to clean through the week. Because I have work and the baby and two classes. So two of the classes are traditional. So I go to class two days a week and then in two weeks I'm home. But I'm still always doing homework. So I try to make the weekends my get everything done and ready and clean for the next week. So house is a mess. So I'm going to show you the kitchen. 
before and after. So, this is my kitchen now. The baby spilt something, so I just used one of my old towels to clean it up. Dishes full in the sink. Just, just mess. Just, I know, I need to get my life together. Like, this is ridiculous. And then, like I said, Chiron spilled some water or something on the floor and it got both of our mats dirty. Hey, Buster! Or not dirty, but wet. Hey, Buster! So, yeah, I'm going to get this cleaned up. And then I have the living room, bathrooms to clean, bedrooms to clean. So, I'm going to try to go ahead and get everything done so we can get out later on today and enjoy my birthday. So, yeah. It's okay, Buster. It's okay. They're not inside. I know. I know. My guard dog. Yeah, so my guard dog is telling me to go ahead and clean, so I'm going to get this started. Hey, everybody. So, got the kitchen clean. Gave my son some frosting due to his dad giving him frosting. So he's very, very hyper. But finally got the kitchen cleaned. All I had to do was take out the trash. So. Yeah, that's my little one. I threw our mats that we had in here um, in the washing machine. So they should be done soon. Daddy, daddy, Buster's daddy. little spot. Cute little sign. Love my little dog. So yeah, kitchen is clean. Not the light. And Daddy, Oh, look who that is. Oh no, 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 no. Look who that is. So you're just gonna ignore everyone? Hello. Shut up. If I had that other oh, if I had that other camera that had a flip top. I would be able to have seen that and not talking with frosting on my lip looking weird. Can we go price it today? I think we should just go get it. You know, you only have a 29th birthday once. You got a 30th birthday once. Yeah, but I need the camera now. I thought a woman never tells her age. I have no problem with my age. So are we going? to look at the camera. I don't know. Where, stop, Mies. I don't care. Don't do that. So are we going to? Thank you. Yeah, so we're about to head out. Don't hit him like that. You still hit him pretty hard. You going to work for me now? That's what the lady at the dollar store said. Cause she he, he was putting it up on the conveyor belt, and she was like, "You want to come work with us?" He's such a flirt. So yeah, now we're heading out to get something to eat. See, and you almost hit me. Stop. And then we're gonna run some more errands. So yeah, we're we're going to look for that camera because when I did the last vlog, I noticed that this is really hot. So I can't do that. I noticed that you could barely see my husband. So, I'm just leaning over to make sure that you can see both of us. But, we are heading to get something to eat! I'm starving! He took a nap, or rested a little bit, he worked this morning. Chiron, our son, took a nap, and I cleaned. And so, I am starving! So hungry. So we're going to head to our favorite spot. They gave me a birthday coupon. I think it was buy one, get one meal free. So we're going to partake in that. Then I want to get that blanket I was talking about. Then I want to go buy... Then I want to go buy Sephora and get my free gift. And then we're going to go downtown. What's the Makeup. Oh, babe, you're swerving. You have fun with this swerving thing. Um... Or we might just go get something to eat and just go downtown. I think this is for downtown. But I really want to take him to that pineapple just to get him out. If not, we're definitely taking him to the pool in our complex. Our town or complex. Tomorrow. So. I'm sorry. I just. I'm 
sorry. I just want to hold my camera because it's 87 degrees. This car is hot as I don't know what. And with it sitting in the window, the sun is beaming on it. So I don't want it to melt or anything. So, so babe, how's your day going? Fine. Got anything to say to anybody special on their special day? Happy birthday. Hey, boo thing. He's watching his movie. No. Hey, boo thing. No. Okay. Well, and no is his response. So, I'm starving, so we're going to head there and get something to eat. And then, like I said, I didn't really run any errands today because Chiron, it was right his nap time. I don't leave in enough time. He's just way too cranky to handle him by myself. We're going to stop by that place, that, that paint for kids place over there and see what they're about. So, ooh, and I want to check out Aldi. So, yeah, we're going to head get something to eat, run some errands, celebrate my birthday with my family. And that's it. Is it yummy? I'm sorry? So, we are at our favorite spot. Cadoba. I got a veggie bowl, brown rice, black beans, pinto beans, cheese, lettuce, and pico. Of course, we got our chips and queso, and then my hubby got chicken quesadilla. How's it taste? Good. How's it taste, Chiron? Jameer. Is it good? Is it good? Is it good? Yummy? So, yes, we are about to... That, that. Go ahead and chow down on all this good stuff right here and then go and run some more errands. I don't think we're gonna get too much done today. Today feels like a relaxed chill. Today feels like a relaxed chill day, so we might try to get most of that stuff done tomorrow and just hang out together. So yeah. That was scrumptious. Did you enjoy it, babe? Did you enjoy Boo Boo? Yeah, he's all in his movies. No. So, his nose mean yes. So, since we are... Radio Shack's this way. Huh? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, attitude. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So, since we're in this area, we're going to stop by this Radio Shack and check out... Is that closed? They're closed. Are they closed? It's closed. Well, I guess not. We was going to stop by this Radio Shack and check out their prices on cameras. But, I mean, um, do you want to check out Walmart? You know, Walmart usually can't beat. You know you can't usually beat Walmart prices. Yeah, but I had already bought you. You did. You bought me a... Oh, I'm sorry. You bought me a beautiful camera, and it was my favorite color. But um, and I that was so sweet of my husband to do. But we had other things that you know could have been taken care of, and I just I just saw it as we needed to take care of those things first. But now I want a camera, so we're gonna I guess since we're over here, stop by Walmart and see what their prices are on their cameras. So. And try not to get trapped in the buying things we don't need at Walmart like we usually do. So, <laughs> so we're gonna head over there. And do you want to still try to make it downtown or tomorrow? So yeah, well, I guess we'll do downtown tomorrow. We'll do downtown tomorrow and just run some more. I just hang out and waste some time, so, yeah. I'm sorry, what was that, baby? No, I actually want to go by that place that had that blanket. Remember that blanket I really, really want? And you was like, no. I still say no. Can we go look at it again? I think I want it. I don't want that one out of here. So yeah, we're we'll probably gonna look at that blanket, and if we don't get a camera here, go by Best Buy. I mean, we really don't need anything from H and M. He's pretty much set for a good little minute. Um, 
You want to go to Air Postals and get you some more shirts? You know it's my birthday? That's if they got to say. Even though it's my birthday? So you want some shirts? No. You want some shirts? Can we go into the mall, the Northwoods Mall, mm -hmm. so I can get another pair of these since you don't like my skippies? So you know we'll go ahead and buy your chucks. I don't like wearing sneakers. Um, To me, I have really big feet. I wear a size. That's small. Well, to me, I feel that I have really big feet. I wear a size eight and a half. And so I don't like wearing sneakers usually, especially since I work, my office is like office setting. My job is an office setting where I work. So, um, sorry, I'm trying to move stuff. So I usually have to be dressed up anyway. So I just find myself buying more dress clothes and shoes. But um, I don't know, just sneakers just make my foot look huge. So um, I usually don't get sneakers. So we'll see. No, I won't be getting chucks. I'll get some more of the, uh, some flats, like because at least with my flats, I can wear them out, and I can also wear them just like casual, like today. I have on these, like these, and I think they're really, really cute. So yeah, we're gonna head inside, see if we can find a camera. Yeah. Nothing. So now we are heading to. Do you want to try another Walmart? Or just go to Best Buy. Best Buy. So now we're heading to Best Buy. Oh, it's cooled down. I think I should be able to. You. You. Me. I hope that you can see both me and my husband. So now we are heading to. Best Buy to see if they have my camera and if they don't have it we're just going to push forward with this one. Like I said what we have is a nice camera and it's not old and it's in really good shape it's just I can't see what I look like. Like I said earlier I shot a couple times and I kept well one time excuse me one time the zoom happened and I wasn't paying attention and it zoomed so couldn't see anything while I was talking so it just would be nice to have the flip to see what's going on so we're heading there and since we're over there we might as well go to the mall over there um I like Charlotte Russe their flats are like cheap and they're really cute so I don't really like H&M flats because they're not that cheap and they're flimsy so we're going to check out Charlotte Roos. And I guess just walk around let the baby run and get some energy out since dad kept giving him Kool-Aid. Yeah, high C. High C, Kool-Aid, same thing no, though. None but sugar. Nothing but sugar. High C has vitamin C. And nothing but artificial flavoring and sugar. My son's going to be bouncing off the wall all day long. So we're heading over there now. You probably can't see you, babe. Scoot over. I am scooting. So, so yeah. This birthday has been pretty good. Um, blessed to see 29 or grateful to see 29. Can't complain about anything. Um, it's been a very trying year, but nothing is perfect. So you deal with what you're given and you keep it pushing. So. I did a New Year's resolution, and at the end of this year, I'll look back at my New Year's resolution and see how much.
much I've done and, you know, what I still need to work on and then I'll make my next year resolution. I've actually done a New Year's resolution like the last three years. I tried to get my husband to do one. What? You sitting beside me hearing me talking and you gonna talk about what? A New Year's resolution and just write out what you're going to work on and stuff like that for the upcoming year. Like I've done it and I think last year I did half of what I said I was going to do. So it's nice to see what I did this year. And then I'll be 30 next year. We'll be done having kids if we don't have anything now or before I'm 30. We're done. We're done. What are you paying? Huh? What are you paying? Because I, since before we got married, I told my husband that I'm done at 30. Correct? Yeah, I don't believe it. Whatever. That's because you don't believe it because you want more. And you know the timeline doesn't fit for you to have more kids. So that's what you're saying that. But you don't carry the kids. Think about that. So we'll see what happens. You really find out who your friends are when they're wishing you happy birthday. Because um, I don't have Facebook right now. And I only have Instagram. And I haven't posted anything on my Instagram. But um, 